When recording with Screencastify, there are three different modes. One is when you click on it, you'll see your browser tab, you'll see desktop mode and webcam mode. I'll show you the difference between these. So when you do browser mode, you have the option of selecting your microphone. You also have the ability to turn on your webcam if need be. And if you have more than one webcam or you have a document camera plugged in, this is where you would find it. And then when you start to record, you can also add some additional options, drawing tools, tab audio, any of these items that you may want to include. But what it's going to do is only record what's in this browser tab. So when I hit record, three, it'll say three, two, two one. Here's my one. webcam. And then it's only recording this space as well as my face because I did the webcam mode. And when I select a different tab, it's going to say that it's only recording this one. See how there's a blue dot there? So it only recorded that one. There's that mode. So I click back on Screencastify, hit stop. It's going to take me to a tab where the recording took place. It's going to load it. And then it's only recording. I'll pause it. It's going to load it to Google Drive. And what I always want to make sure I do is I hit copy link like so. So that way I have that. As you can see, when I'm playing this, the space as well as my face, because I did, it's only showing that tab, not the entire screen. OK, so I'll close that out. And the reason I hit that copy link button, by the way, is then I don't have to worry about sharing settings. I can just insert the video in Google Classroom or in a slides presentation and students can access it quickly. Here's the second one. This is the full desktop. That means that any tabs that I open, uh, you can see all of it. So when I hit record, it'll ask me which screen. I select my internal display because that's the one I'm working on Three, right now. Two, one. And then I'm able to switch tabs and the whole time it's recording both of those. Whereas before it only recorded the one screen when I did a tab recording. So in this one, you can see that I have switched tabs. I'm, and then I'm able to record the entire screen. So no matter what tab I'm on, it's gonna record that. I'll close this window. I forgot to hit copy link there, sorry about that. The other option is to just record from a camera. So this is great if you have a document camera if I choose webcam only, then I'm able to select which camera. If I had a document camera plugged in, I would be able to see the name of it right here. And then I can record. Three, two, one. So right now it's just recording what is on the camera. It's pulling from my webcam right here. But if I had a document camera, I'd be able to switch that. I can hit stop at the bottom of this screen. Right now, it's just recording what is on the camera. It's pulling from my webcam right here. But if I had a document camera, I'd be able to switch. So then I'm able to rename it here if need be. Save it. I can hit copy link to be able to uh, make it so that way students can view it. But then when you record just your webcam, then what ends up happening is you are able to do maybe a live lesson on a board or just record yourself writing on something using a document camera, lots of different ways that it could be used. So it's a quick flyby on the three different modes for Screencastify.